From the moment I told the Baudelaire's their parents perished in a terrible fire, they've had adventures in all sorts of exotic locales. I've just dropped them off at boarding school. I know all about you. You've been sent to guardian after guardian, and adversity has always followed. <laughs> I'm afraid that you'll have to live in a small tin shack. Ah, uh, crabs. Our shack is crabs. Yeah. Our parents were a part of something. It might be the reason all these terrible things keep happening. Count Olaf is still looking for us. Does this seem like a nightmare? Because that's the effect I was going for. Who is this man? That's Count Olaf in disguise. He's in the middle of a scheme to steal our fortune. What sane man would disguise himself four times in a row? We lost our parents in a fire. We lost our parents as well. We've seen a lot of things we can't explain. Like a spyglass. Where did, Where did you, you get, get that? that? There's a secret. We're a part of a mystery and we'll never be free until we figure out what it is. We have eyes everywhere and we are always watching. Aya. We don't have much time. I think I've got it. Open up in there. No. Please? This time, I have no mercy. I won't be satisfied with just your fortune. I will obliterate you in the cruelest way imaginable. The camaraderie at this hospital is really inspiring. I need to keep moving. I wish you luck. I think you're going to need it. This episode in the lives of the Baudelaire's is about to get much, much worse. How's work, Sonny? Faster! You type like a one-year-old! Yeah.